Hello everyone, welcome back, hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. Just want to quickly say before we start this video, I have a brand new line of merch available now. Thank you to all the great reception I've had on it, I'm really happy with the work that the artist's done and I think it looks absolutely amazing. And I'll be adding more merch as time goes on and if you'd like to check out the website, I will have it linked in the description. And for those who have already purchased some, I am truly grateful and I'm glad you're enjoying it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about an operator who has a pretty high chance of joining Rainbow Six Siege. Not necessarily for year 9 since we know that we're getting a recruit rework which is going to be one attacker and one defending recruit. We're also going to be getting a brand new Greek operator and as well as this we're going to be getting a Blackbeard rework. And this is an operator who has a high chance of joining in year 10 and that is Anthony Perryman also known as Nomad from the Ghost Recon franchise. Now before you click away and you say oh okay he's just randomly theorizing that this character is going to come to Siege. There's a lot of groundwork here and a lot of stuff in place that would make so much sense for him to come and I think he is probably more likely than non-likely to come to Rainbow Six Siege. So hear me out and watch to the end of the video. Now of course the first thing we should address is his alias of Nomad would most likely have to be changed. I reckon something like Ghost would work pretty well since he is part of Ghost Recon since we do already have a Nomad in Siege. But since I was correct with my theory that Sam Fisher was going to come to Siege and I made that theory years and years ago, here's my theory as to why Anthony Perryman aka Nomad will come to Rainbow Six Siege in year 10 or year 11. So for those of you who follow the lore, which a lot of my viewers do, you may be aware that Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six Siege exist in the same universe. The big confirmation of this was the crossover event in Ghost Recon Wildlands titled Operation Archangel, which was centered around Kavera saving her brother and featured appearances of other Rainbow operatives such as Valkyrie and Twitch. You may see this as just a one-off crossover with Ghost Recon and there's nothing to really stand on that it's canon, However, if you go into the in-game bios of the operators that partook in this operation, you can see it listed in their relevant experiences, confirming that this did indeed happen in the same universe and is canon to the main Rainbow Six Siege storyline. And that's all well and good. That mission had no effect on Rainbow Six Siege's storyline. It was simply operators doing a mission. It was really cool to see these operators in action and the Siege storyline went on as usual. And in the timeline, this took place all the way back in 2018. Now, just because Rainbow and the Ghost work together once doesn't necessarily mean that Nomad is coming to Siege, but there was another Ghost Recon game which was released after Wildland titled Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And if you've played Ghost Recon Breakpoint, you may be aware that in universe, that game takes place in 2025. And this being set in 2025 was fine until it started to introduce some of the same crossovers which were experienced in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And there's mainly two crossovers here which start to question if they will decide to make Ghost Recon Breakpoint canon because they've confirmed that Wildlands is canon but since Ghost Recon Breakpoint takes place in 2025 do we know if they're going to make this story canon to the Siege universe and as well as this the Splinter Cell universe which if you're not aware the Splinter Cell games are getting a complete remake from the very first game and I have a feeling they're going to change the story a bit to sort of fit the narrative of the current universe they're making because in Ghost Ghost Recon Breakpoint, we not only have a crossover with Sam Fisher, meaning that he would have to have been away from Rainbow at this point, and as well as this, there is a Rainbow crossover which features operators Ash, Thatcher, and Finca, who isn't part of Rainbow anymore and is part of Nighthaven. Of course, the narrative team have a year to explain all this stuff. That is, if they do decide to make the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint canon to their story, they don't have to, but if we're going to a establish that these are all in the same universe, I would like them to at least make an effort to make it make sense. Like maybe in a year's time, just make a little one-off note in a battle pass for Sam that he's going to go on a mission in Aurora or something like that. And maybe give us an explanation as to why Thatcher and Ash are working with Finca once again. But regardless, however they choose to sort of link the breakpoint story to Rainbow Six Siege and Splinter Cell, what we can confirm is at least in Wildlands, Rainbow worked with the Ghosts and Anthony Perryman knows the Rainbow operatives. So with next year being 2025 in Siege lore, that means if they do call it canon, it would align with the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint and they could, after the events of Operation Amber Sky, make a season in which Nomad or Anthony Perryman Nomad works with Rainbow on a mission and that's their excuse to basically add him as a Siege operator. He doesn't necessarily even have to join Rainbow in the lore 
operatives such as Deimos have proven that Deimos is not part of Rainbow. He's part of the Kyrez Legion. Or same with Grimm. He's part of Nighthaven. And yes, Nighthaven did once work with Rainbow, then all those operatives left. However, Grimm joined Nighthaven after that, so he's never even been a part of Rainbow. So Anthony Perriman going on a mission with Rainbow and then adding him as a playable operator, you don't have to add him to Rainbow. He can still be a ghost. And you can still go on to make another Ghost Recon game without having him being tied to Rainbow Six Siege. In my opinion, this has a lot of things going for it, and I'd be quite surprised if they didn't do this. Not only is Siege the most popular Clancy game out right now, it's the biggest Ubisoft game, and you can understand why they want to put their most popular characters in the game. Sam Fisher was already a massive addition, and I wouldn't be surprised if Anthony Perryman, aka Nomad from Ghost Recon, would be the next major character addition. I do have faith that the lore team can make this work, and heck, his introduction could maybe help explain why Finca, Thatcher, and Ash are working together. A lot of the potential story rifts which are caused by Ghost Recon Breakpoint being set in 2025 could actually be helped solved by the introduction of Nomad into Rainbow Six Siege. I really hope the team don't sweep this under the rug and accept that Nomad is a big part of Siege's story, embrace the fact that he's worked with Rainbow, embrace the fact that he knows and has worked with Sam Fisher even before Sam joined Rainbow, so we would have a really fun interaction there. And you may be wondering, well, what could his gadget be? I would like to think that he would be an attacker, give him a brand new loadout, a brand new AR, a really hard hitting AR. I think that would fit him very well. And I've made this theory in the past and I think it's a great one. And I'm so surprised that we haven't had an operator like this, but give him a flying drone on attack, which would sort of be like an attacker's echo. But instead of being limited to just driving on the floor, then sticking to the ceiling like a yokai drone, you could just fly freely around the map. And I think you could do two things with this gadget. One could basically be an auto sensor. So let's say you fly this drone around the map and if anyone walks in front of it, it pings their location. Or you could even do like an old lion scan. Maybe that'd be a bit too OP, but something along the lines of it being like an auto scanner you can set up and it basically is like a drone that watches it for you instead of having a teammate to watch on it. Or you could just go down the same route as Echo and stick a concussion nade on it because that would be very useful on attack. There's a lot of great situations you could use that. Let's say on Clubhouse, for example, top floor, you breach the CC wall and you plant default by the bomb chassis. This is a post-plant situation and you as the attacker need to stall the defuse or kill the enemies. Well, just like when you're playing Echo, if you can cuss someone planting, it takes them off the plan. If you can cuss a defender who is trying to defuse, it also does the same thing. If a defender is disabling that defuser, if you shoot them with a Zofia concussion nade, it will knock them off and stop them from defusing. That is something which happens right now in Rainbow Six Siege. So incorporating that into a flying drone on attack would be very useful. Because that would then mean, oh, I'll just fly my drone outside this breach and hold it from a distance and concuss anyone who is trying to defuse. You can maybe put a range on how far you can shoot the concussion. So it means the drone does have to get maybe a bit close and personal, enough for them to be able to see it and shoot it. And you can't just camp it way far back at the other side of the map. And of course, this drone would be a one shot to destroy it, like a standard driving drone. But I think this would be a really fun concept and this would be a great addition to the attacking team. This would advise a lot of smart plays for a post plant. You plant by a window or you plant by an open breach. It's going to give that incentive for you to sort of plant in certain positions so the drone can then go in and concuss. And it doesn't mean it would be uncounterable. Like I said, you can shoot it. Solace would be able to see where it is. Mute would be able to disable it. Tuberau could freeze it. And heck, if we want to even go that far, if Mozzie hacks one of Brava's clutch drones, he could then hack it and make it a defender one. And I know Ubisoft would never do this, but I would love it if they actually allowed Mozzie to fly around with it outside the map, getting rid of that barrier of, oh, your drone must go back in in 10 seconds now, since it's now defender only. They wouldn't do that, but I'd love it. Because let's be honest, if you're going through the process of hacking a clutch drone as Mozzie, then using a clutch drone to hack this flying drone, I think you deserve to fly outside the map as a defender. Like, that makes a lot of sense in my opinion. Of course, there's numerous different gadgets in the Ghost Recon franchise which have never been seen in Siege before, so I could talk about them all day about the ones that they could give to Anthony, or, you know, Nomad. I don't want to keep saying Nomad because I don't want to confuse people with the Nomad we already have in Siege, but a lot of us do know him as Nomad. And I know I've been saying, oh, maybe they could call him Ghost, but based on the idea of having a flying drone gadget, Recon would actually be a better name in my opinion. And it does play into the name Ghost Recon. And is it just surprising to anyone else that we're in year nine of Rainbow Six 
like Siege, and we still don't have a gadget on attack, which is just a flying drone. I genuinely think, you know, based on the default concept of driving drones being a standard in this game, that we would have had a flying drone gadget for attack years ago. I thought that would be one of the first gadgets they'd add. So I definitely think bringing in Nomad, calling him Recon or Ghost, giving him a hard hitting AR as well as a flying drone which has a concussion effect would be one of the best attackers we would have gotten in a long time. And with the lore allowing him to do this, and with the lore allowing them to do this in 2025 after the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, maybe it'd have to be 2026. This would definitely be something I think Ubisoft should consider and I think a lot of people would agree with me. So be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Have an incredible rest of your day. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.